What's up, YouTube? Uh, today, we have like 150 PSA cards that have just been delivered, so we are going to open them uh, throughout the video. I'm also streaming on Twitch currently, so you may notice me talking to Twitch chat, and some of the context might not totally make sense. Uh, but go ahead on over to twitch.tv slash topcutnetwork if you're watching this on YouTube. Hit the follow button, uh, then you can find us live, and you can be a part of the chat instead of just watching on YouTube. Uh, and also, make sure, as you're watching through the video, leave comments down below. Tell us what your favorite card is that we've opened up. It'll be lots of fun. All right. Now that the YouTube intro is over, let's let's get into it. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Oh, my gosh. Larry Dog with the 156 bits. Thanks, man. Much, much appreciated with those. Big time appreciate. Okay. First card. I gotta have, I think I gotta have my other screen open for this. There we go. Yeah, I do. All right. So we have an Arceus level X from Platinum. Looks like we got an eight on this one. What a fun card. So we got an eight. All right, let's see. Um, nothing on the front clearly indicates why it would have lost two points. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but uh, is it bad that you're here for the commentator? More than the material for it? No. No, nah, Madurs Madursum. No, Max. <laughs> totally makes sense. Uh, so the bottom and the top both has some edge wear. That's probably probably why that got dinged. But level X's, man. What a fun... What did, Where did these come from? Um, so, you know what? That is a great question. I don't actually know the answer to. Um... I'm assuming that the store, Top Cut, just bought a collection at some point somewhere, and uh, these all came from that. I know we're sending off a bunch more pretty soon, uh, kind of the same thing. So I would imagine that this is the same kind of thing there. And Twain, the Solid Jet 100. You know, this was right before I started playing. Um, not right before, I guess 2009, 2010 Level X's. I started playing right like 2011 12 so yo aaron how's it going man how are you welcome welcome so that's okay that's card number one we're just gonna take forever if we take that long with every single card all right another level x gengar level x same set number uh we've got a seven grade here so um yeah the whitening on the back i don't know how well you guys can see it but this corner is pretty dinged up. I wouldn't say pretty dinged up. I mean, it still looks good. Obviously, a 7 is a good grade. So, there has to be a Salamence in there. I I don't know. I know this whole stack. I know it because I already looked. But everything in here, I have no idea. I haven't looked at the, the spreadsheets of what was sent off. Nothing. I have no idea. Plus, this is like 10% of all the cards that got sent out. It's incredible. All right. Let's move on. Next up. Sneasel EX from EX Ruby and Sapphire. So this was the first time that they introduced uh, EXs. This was the first set they introduced his EXs in. Uh, Nether Ender Story with the host. Thank you so much for the host. Also, you guys, if you, I, I don't have the right screen. I'm working with one monitor today. So if any uh, follows or anything come in and I don't see it, I am so sorry. Um, I, I am, I have one monitor, so I can't, I can't have all, everything up all at once. I mean, I probably could figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out for next time. But anyways, uh, this was also the first time two prizers existed. So thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> oh, we got a nine. We should probably talk about the grade too, huh? Sneasel EX got a nine. What a beautiful card. Moving on. Uh, Hitmonchan EX, also from Ruby and Sapphire. We got an 8. Lots of really good grades so far. This is a pretty nice looking card. Ding right here. Kind of one down here too. Still beautiful. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be looking for swirlies on the hollows, aren't I? Oh, pretty faint. But it exists right there. I don't know how well you guys can... Also, look at the glare. I'm going to have that fixed soon. I have... 
Uh, this setup is um, not totally complete. I have a bunch of pieces I'm waiting on coming in the mail so that hopefully that glare does not exist once those extra pieces come in. So, all right. Lapras EX also got an eight, also from Ruby and Sapphire. Oh man. The EX is like, even the arts, even though that like, there wasn't much about the arts that was different from like a regular Pokemon card. Uh, just the art style was obviously different for the EXs. Plus, the silver borders are so cool. The the yellow borders, I just... Not a fan, personally. Yeah, EXs just look so good. Exactly, Oscar. They look, they look amazing. I'm a big fan. So, we got another 8. Beautiful card. You see there's kind of a smudge on the bottom down there. That's... Other than that, this card looks real nice. Real good looking card. All right. Oh man, Expedition. The e-reader sets. Um, did you just say whence? Did I? I don't think so. Bring back EX art? Yeah. Did I say, if I did, <laughs> I don't know why I would have said whence. <laughs> but, oh man, Expedition. The e-reader sets in general, some of the best sets. Like, oh, this one got a 9. Beautiful card. Cloyster is such a cool Pokemon too. Yeah, that's the only reason it got a 9. Right there. What a nice looking card. Oh, man. Dan says random stuff. Heck yes. Alright, this is this is my favorite Pokemon, you guys. So I'm pretty excited about this one. We got Steelix Prime from Unleashed. Best Pokemon. No cap. This is the best Pokemon. Uh, we got a 7. 7 on this one sweet best pokemon this is my boy my boy all right shadowless hitmonchan from base sets got a six. Oh, it's kind of it just me or does this this corner look like it's cut a little weird I think I'm great. I think I might just be crazy. Yeah. Oh, focus. There we go. Still though, too bad it's not first edition. That would be fun. All right. Obviously, Charizard, the biggest collector Pokemon of all time. Uh, we got a Rev Hollow from Boundaries Cross here. Got an eight. Uh, this card was not good. <laughs> but it's Charizard, so people love it. Speaking of Charizard, here's another one. This one's from Dragon Majesty. This one got a 9, though. Dragon Majesty had, um... If I remember correctly, it didn't have, like, a great quality print run. So, getting a 9 here is not a terrible thing to have happen. All right. Oh, man. So this is probably one of the first cards that got printed once Nintendo took over printing Pokemon um, from Wizards of the Coast. So because this is Black or this is Black Star promo number 12. I'm guessing this this might have came out before Ruby and Sapphire this set. So, OK, here's a question from chat. What are PSA cards exactly? So PSA stands for Pro Sports Authenticators. Uh, you send cards to them, and what they do is they take the card and they give it a grading scale of it 1 to 10. Uh, the higher the number, the better the card is. Um, the better, like, condition the card is. Uh, so 10 being gem mint, uh, obviously, looks the best. These, let's see, another ender said, yeah, some of the recent sets look like someone sneezed during, yeah, honestly, honestly, you are not wrong. Uh, Aaron needs to start doing PSA. Man, I sent off, uh, or we, I mean, yeah, just PSA in general, definitely. Uh, Alakazam cards, too. Another big collector Pokemon. Never seen this Pikachu before. You know, I actually don't think I have either. But I, I'm not totally sure if this came out before the Ruby and Sapphire set, but it's definitely one of the first cards Nintendo ever printed when they took over. So it's it's a cool art, but, and I'm sure, like, when it released in 2003, I would have been a big fan I just, oh, I'm so over Pikachu, personally. <laughs> All right. 
This is one of the rarest cards that exists. And I think this is hilarious. Okay, so this is a reverse hollow TV reporter from EX Dragon. Look at that grade. It got a two. <laughs> Honestly, I wish this would have gotten a one. That would have just made it so much better. Um, but there's like, I mean, there's like a weird line in the foil right here. The edges are pretty messed up. <laughs> um, hi, Jimmy. Hello. How's it going? Hi, chat. Say hi to Jimmy. Reverse Hollow TV reporter. Yeah, and it's got a two. Yeah, this is this is for real though. One of the best cards. What what was the deal with this? Why was the Reverse Hollow so rare? It wasn't printed in the first printing. It was only printed after the first printing. Yes, Crazy. Crazy. And it got a two. I just... My favorite. Alright. Jimmy left everyone, but I'll tell him you all said hello. Alright. Next. Uh, Blaine's Arcanine. Japanese from Jim 2. This one got a nine. It's a pretty card. The art here, too. I love Ken Sugimori art, personally. I know some people think it's like stock art and kind of boring. I am a big fan. I just... uh. I like it a lot. Lots of fun fun stuff. Some more Japanese cards. This is a vile plume from Jungle. Oh my gosh. Can we think focus correctly? That's kinda right. Okay. I don't read Japanese, so I don't I don't remember what the cards on this do, but we got an eight here. Good looking card. Oh you guys can start to see what's coming next now. Butterfree from Neo Revelation. I get some of the Neo sets mixed up. I know Genesis is the two white stars, and I get Revelation and Destiny mixed up. I think Destiny also has the the like ninja star looking thing. So I think this is Revelation. I could be wrong. That's a good looking card too. Butterfree got a nine. No hollow swirls. Maybe kind of half of one. Maybe that's fine. I don't get the swirl thing. People love it, but that's okay. All right, next. Oh, the Legendary Bird Trio. Uh, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno. Jim Mint 10, our first 10. Look at that. Our first 10. I feel like Japanese cards definitely have way higher chances of getting 10s. Their card stock is just so much nicer than ours. And look, their Pokeball opens up the right way. You're welcome. In case everyone who didn't know that didn't know that, now you do. Their Pokeball opens up the right way. So, fun stuff. But our first 10. Sweet. <laughs> Psalms, birds, time to tweet about it. Is that a thing? Is that a thing people do? Am I am I not cut up on a on a meme? Or a trend? Someone will have to catch me. Alright, here we go. Blaine's Charizard. Another Charizard. You just wanted to make a pun time. Oh, tweet. I get it, but I do not like it. <laughs> uh, we got a nine here. Let's let's show them off together. We got two nines, two nines on Blaine's Charizard. Beautiful cards, beautiful Pokemon, and more super busted Kinsugamori art. Get this man off the street. Yes. All right. Look, Espeon. Oh, there's two of these also. Oh my gosh, we got an 8 and a 4. You didn't get the I did not get the pun. I almost wish that like I just would have not said anything. Lost all your first edition blame. Oh, Aaron. Feels real bad, man. I wish I wish like uh I wish that I would have known. I mean, obviously hindsight's 2020, but the people that like kept all of their cards for collectors' reasons for like to have this exactly is crazy. Does the four look like a four? Well, let's let's investigate. Okay, so the front of it, I'm not seeing anything too crazy. There's a there's some smudges right here on the top. Um, 
There's a little nick down here on the bottom. The back. For comparison, this is the eight on the right. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember that 20 years from now. Keep them. Yeah, totally. Oh, I um. Yeah, I mean, there's some lightning around the corners on the bottom. There's a little nick right here on the side. I am not a professional grader, nor do I know all the things that goes into what gets a point, what takes away a point, that kind of stuff. Um, it looks to be reasonably centered. Couldn't tell you why this got a four, if I'm being honest. I have no idea. Looks, I mean, a beautiful card, regardless. All right. Another one for all the Charizard fans. This one's coming from the Radiant Collection in Generations. A harsh four. It kind of seems like it. But still, like the lower grades, some people like collecting the lower grades. It's kind of crazy. Imagine Pokemon cards on antique road shows year from now. Yeah, right? Like, what are those What are those guys? American Pickers? They're going to be find, finding... Uh, <laughs> they're going to be finding Pokemon cards in people's garages. Yo, Taylor, how's it going, man? It's been a minute since I talked to you. How are you? Well, it's like collecting lower grades. <laughs> yeah, for sure. But some people just like the lower grades. They're more fun to have, I think. They tell a better story, I think, than the, the higher grades, right? So here we got black and white. Full Art Zekrom. I love this card. This is a beautiful card. And it's the black background one, not the gray. Because there was like two weird printings of that, right? Or does the gray come from Legendary Treasures? I don't remember exactly what the what the thing was, but there was um these Zekroms. Some of them had like the black backgrounds behind Zekrom, and some of them had gray. But I don't remember what the difference was or why some of them were gray. There was definitely something. I just don't remember exactly. But it got a nine. Beautiful card. Like, Fuller Pokemon, I wish more like this existed. And they're starting to do that. Um, they're starting to do that with, like, some of the secret rares that are coming out in Sword and Shield now. But, like, even the like the shiny Pokemon that first came out in the black and white set, I just I wish there was better looking cards of cards that weren't uh, EXs or GXs or Vs now or whatever. So, all right. A three. A three! <laughs> so Japanese cards can get lower than four. Uh, we got a three on this Dark Charizard from Rocket. Oh, man. Yeah, there's definitely some lightning and shining in the corner down here. It is a little bit off center. You can tell it's shifted to the left a little bit and maybe down a little bit also. Oof. I wish, you could, ah, I wish there was a nicer camera on this, which is coming, by the way. That's part of the stream setup. But, yeah, there's definitely a... Retrames had invisible stars on the bottom, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So we got a three. <laughs> so we got a we got a, a three Dark Charizard. A four Ch Blaine's chart? What was that four? Well, the four was the Espeon. And we got a two on a Reverse Hollow TV Trainer. So, or TV Reporter. TV Trainer. That's a different thing. All right. So now... We know the front card is Lugia. I know nothing else about what is in here. So this is going to be fun. Um, open this without hurting myself or the cards. Mostly the cards. Just bubble wrap and tape, Dan. Come on. <laughs> Maybe I should have opened them all up before going. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, just make a pile of garbage over there, I guess. All right. So we know it's Lugia. We know it's a Black Star. Oh no, it's not. Is this not? Oh, is this Neo Genesis? I don't know why I thought this was a promo for some reason. But I got an eight. Lugia, another fan favorite. Another beautiful card. I love this card. Oh, man. I remember getting one of these in English. 
but I remember getting it as a kid. Like, this was right around, like, I remember getting this right before I stopped, like, kind of collecting or being into Pokemon. So much of me wishes I had those cards still from when I was a kid. Ugh. But live and learn. Now never sell anything. <laughs> All right. We got another one. This one got a five. It's definitely off center, pretty far, shifted to the right. You can definitely tell if you look at the bottom. Still, I love this card. Lugia. <laughs> oh, here's a fun card. Sabrina's Gaze. This art uh, had to be repaired uh, and redone for when it came to the States. Um Sabrina's saying some not very nice things with those hand gestures, but this one got a nine. So this is cool. Good looking card. Whoa. Camera bunk. Aaron's Bay. Yeah, right. It's because Alakazam. All right. Look at this. We got some more e-reader. Or this is uh, not e-reader. Maybe it is. I don't know enough about the Japanese VS series. But uh, Price is Sneasel. Price was kind of a jerk of a gem leader, right? Right? This got a 7. Is first ed. Oh, the first ed stamps on these are super cool. I don't know how well you guys can see that. That's super cool. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen that stamp, the first edition stamp before. Oh man, now I wish they all looked like that. What a cool stamp. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my gosh. There's two of them. All right, so we got Jasmine Steelix and Bruno Steelix. Oh, my favorite Pokemon. A seven on Jasmine, a six on Bruno. Oh, man. Both first edition, too. And now that it's not a dark-type Pokemon, you can kind of see the stamp a little better, I think. Maybe. Yeah. What a good-looking stamp. Oh, my gosh. And the arts on these... I need these. I need to own these. Big fan. Big, big fan. Got a Politoed from Neo. This one got a nine. I don't see any swirls in the hollow. Looks like a nine to me. Base set, Charizard, Japanese. Got an eight. Oh, man. This is like the original. If you own this card when it first came out, you were just better than everyone else, no matter what. <laughs> oh, man. It's a little off-center. little nick on the top and the back. It's, oh, man. Beautiful. What a card. This is what we were waiting for. Oh, man. All right. Scyther from Jungle, Japanese. Got an eight. Nice little hollow pattern swirl. Again, I don't personally understand the swirl, but if people are going to spend money on it, I'm not going to stop them. And a Rocket's Mewtwo that got a nine. Gym 2, Japanese. I love that all the Mewtwo's from the first sets all had three attacks. I mean, not all of them, but there was like Mewtwo was the only Pokemon good enough to have three attacks. All right. First card looks like Giovanni's Gyarados. That's correct. It is indeed Giovanni's Gyarados. And I got a six. 
here. You know what I should do? Let's, oh, I can't see it because of my camera. Let's put it over here. There we go. That's what we should do. But a six on Giovanni's Gyarados. And the Ken Sugimori art, I just focus. It's too focused on Charizard. It's fine. Neo Genesis Cleffa got a nine. One of the most sought after cards for people building retro decks from that era. It's one of the most broken cards ever printed too. How do people hate Sigmar? I don't know. Like some people just think it's boring. It's stock art. It's something anybody could draw. I don't know. I just I'm a I love it. I love it. And speaking of love, look at this. One of the Neo sets, promo Charizard, or promo Charizard from the Neo era, reverse hollow. Look at this thing. Got a seven. I don't. I don't know that I've ever seen this card before either. Oh my gosh. What an amazing looking card. I mean, I guess we should just start our Charizard stack, right? I know there's a few others, but these are the important ones. Oh, there were the Blaine's Charizards. Nah, that'll be fine. New cards. Oh my gosh. How? This card, these just came out. Like, a couple months ago. What happened here? The Staff Sword... Sword and Shield, pre-release promo, got a four. Okay, these are all staff, all pre-release promo, four, 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 four. four. Four, four. How does this happen? I am thoroughly confused. Huh? I must what? All of them. Chat, help me out. How did all of those come back a four? What happened here? PSA Rebellion on the new Meowth and Ugly Starters. <laughs> it's like they cut and paste it. It's, seriously. <laughs> They're not fours. Also, can we not talk bad about Berserker? Okay, this is my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield, I think. I... <laughs> Alright, I do not get the fours. That one doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> I, t I don't get it. Alright, next. You don't mean that? Yes, I do. Berserkers and... Oh, you guys! It's a base set. Blastoise! Womp womp. Yeah, I, 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 I squeaks. How's it going? Awesome to see you already rock man I'm thank you I'm very excited like I, I was a little nervous like I was kind of pacing around for a few minutes before I got before I went live because like it's been a long time since I've been in front of a camera but it's like nothing changed dance slams win you know what there's a lot of opportunities <laughs> there's a lot of opportunities right now for for some possible comebacks Who knows? All right, base set blast or base set two. Oh, but still, we got an eight. <laughs> if we aren't crushing beers on stream, are we? Nope. We gotta. <laughs> he missed a punt. Psalms, come on, don't do me like this. But we got an eight on base set two. I just, I got excited. I saw blast.
Based on Charizard, it got a nine. No shadow reverse dead, but oh man. Let's go. Please. Please, thank you. Focus. Let's go. A nine. You know how hard it is to grade these 20 years later, 20 plus years later, and still get nines? Oh man. This is awesome. Goes goes to the Charizard stack. Oh, all right. Up next, I'll show them off at the same time. We got two yellow cheeks E three stand. Oh wait, whoa! These are not the same thing. Okay, my bad. Uh, I got a seven. This is an E three stamp Pikachu. Chonkachu, yeah, right. Old Pikachu. He was thick. And this one, that's also a 7, uh, this is first dead. It's got like the kind of, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like, it's a little grayed out. Some good old Pika art right there. Yep. It, it really is just a good looking, good look. I think the problem with all the new Pikachu art is like, like I get that like Pokemon, they technically are the same species. Like they all look the same, right? But um, I think too much of the new art tries to imitate the anime with Pikachu, and I think maybe that's why I don't like it so much. I could totally be off base here, but I think maybe that's just part of the problem I have with it. All right, here we go. Umbreon from Neo Dis Discovery, not Revelation. I'm don't listen to me, you guys. It's Discovery. I was thinking this was the Revelation symbol earlier. I. It's fine. Everything's fine. We got an eight. And these cards are pretty spendy when they're raw, so I'm pretty excited about this one coming back in 8. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. Another Charizard, but it's Evolutions. Don't be fooled. Got an 8. Good looking. Alright, now it's time for another one of my favorite Pokemon. It's not Steelix this time, but it is my favorite Legendary. And that is Rayquaza. We got a five. All right, let's see. Some whitening around basically all the edges, or corners, top and bottom. I love Rayquaza. What a good Pokemon. Gen 3 in general just really killed it with with Pokemon design. Legendary collection reverse hollow cards. These these are some of the weirdest cards because I feel like when these came out, people hated them. But now they're like some of the most sought after cards like for collectors is crazy. We got Beedrill at a at a four? Why are we getting so many fours? Wild. But we also got a Psyduck, same set that came in at an 8, also Rev Hollow, and same Legendary Collection Meowth. Four on Beedrill, that stings. Well, I didn't like the pun, but I got it this time. The Beedrill has creases on the right. Oh, how did you see that through the camera and I'm blind? Yeah, there's crease here and then kind of on the bottom too. Lots of time. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> All right. I feel I'm I'm starting to stack up too high with these. So we're going to move gonna move these over here. Nice little collection of cool Charizards back here. First and all, our top cut. This is all top cut. I have I have a very small collection of personal stuff, but um, I if if I was doing that stuff, I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing it on 
stream. Everything I do on the stream will be top cut related. Likely, I guess. Who knows what might happen. Yeah, so these will be up for sale. It's going to take some time to get them uh, listed and priced properly. But I was talking to Jimmy earlier, and all of the ones that we're opening today should be on sale uh, within two weeks on Top Cut Events website. Um, you can go there now. There's a small, a small assortment of some graded cards that have already come in. Um, but all of these will go on sale eventually as well. So it's just going to take a couple weeks. Um, plus, Jimmy's doing some traveling. So, but yes, these will these will all be available. Okay, this is one of the best arts of all time. Golem from Expedition. Like, why? Why are we so? Who cropped this photo? <laughs> it's like they took a photo and just <laughs> cropped it. I love it. This is so awkward. <laughs> but we got a seven on this Rev Hollow Golem from Expedition. Am a fan. All right. We got a five. And a six on some reverse hollow moo moo milks from Expedition. Looks like it's using the restroom. Well, I wasn't going to say it, but then there I was. You got me to say it. <laughs> uh, reverse darkness energy from Expedition. We got an eight. I think my favorite part about these hollows is that the, the E in the corner is also hollow. Japanese Moo Moo Milk is the really awkward one. Yup. You're not you're not wrong. That's that's true. We got an E V from the Sylveon collection. We got two, a seven, and a six. Black white promos. Look this is just so cool. I personally am not a fan, like a big fan of Eevee and its evolutions, but like the art on these, all of the Sylveon collection cards were just super cool. And I enjoy them quite a bit. All right, we got got some lilies. Um, this one is staff. Came back as a nine. Oh, they're both staff. This one, we got a nine and a ten on staff lilies from, I don't, I guess just one of the regionals. They gave these away at quite a few regionals, right? At least three, I think. So, but yeah, we got a 10. I think that's only our second. It's at least our second, maybe only our third 10 out of all the cards we've opened up so far. They gave them away at the, yeah, regionally. <laughs> What is that? What is this supposed to be? <laughs> like unbroken bonds, nineteen regionals. I don't. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the yas, <laughs> yas boy, yeah boy. I will now be attempting the longest yeah boy in history. Another Charizard. Dark Charizard. We got an 8. It's not hollow. It's just a regular one. Still, though, Dark Charizard. Nail flick. Got him. They now, they now put yeah in celebration of PSA 10 cases. What? I'm, I think I'm missing something there. No, yeah. I'm not, yeah oh, it's okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. They put it on the 10 because they're happy. Okay, I'm following. I'm following. It took me a minute. Rev Hollow Charizard from Evolutions got a 9. <laughs> slow claps. Slow claps because I'm slow at reading today. Dan is in slow. Dan is slow emote win. I mean, the emotes we have now are just kind of like leftovers from LGN so we probably could look into getting some new ones. He's here. <laughs> I promise. I'm yeah, I'm I I'm here. We out here. We live in
All right, so after this, we have we have 90 cards left to go through. So we're almost halfway done. Who needs an emote when you got the real thing? Wait, I got this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Who's, it's Azul's emote. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I haven't picked up anything from Rebel Clash yet. I need to get me some of those, obviously, though. All right. Cleffa from Neo Genesis. Oh, first Ed. Nice looking. Got a seven. Swoop Teleporter. Reverse Hollow from EX Team Rocket Returns. Got a six. Eek, a seven. Yes, also eek to draw seven. Polytoad. I think we had a Japanese one of these earlier that we looked at, right? We got Nate here. Okay. I'm pretty sure there was a Japanese one of these earlier. Okay, here we go. Oh, the Legendary Treasures ones were gold. That's right, not the full art ones. So we got an 8 on a golden Zek Ram. Gold Brit. Yeah, uh, these cards are so cool. Um, I remember, like, Legendary Treasures out was... It was or Legendary Treasures came out not right after I got in, but it was one of the newer... It was one of the, like, first sets that came out when I started playing, like, actual competitive. I remember pulling one of these and, like, not super understanding why it was gold. Man, what a fun... What a fun... What a fun card. You know, you know Sean, sometimes you just... You gotta... You got to just shrug it off, right? All right. Here we go. Here we go. It's not just plain Charizard. We got a 9 Charizard and breaks it and a 10. Where's the yeah? Where's the yeah boy? And a 10 gym on the, on the restaurant and Charizard. These, I don't have space here. We're just, we're going to have to move these. Over here, these these gotta go up on the. They couldn't fit it on the label. Get they bigger bigger labels. Twenty twenty. Oh, you can't even. Well, you can kind of see it. Camera's a little out of the way. All right, we got another Charizard. I don't remember exactly the red and blue collection. That's it. That's where this came from. This is one of the cooler arts too, though. The Magmar and the Flareon in the background. Big fan. Got Nate. Lots of Charizards. All right. And now we got Cynthia. Look, okay. We got another Yeah Boy. Why is that on the regional cards? I, I don't get it. We got a Staff Cynthia. Came in at a nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got two Charizards from the Radiant Collection from Generations. An eight and a seven. People love Charizard. Also, the artwork on this line. <laughs> the artwork on this line. Like, the, the Charmander with him is just, like, with the guy in it, like, as a little kid. <laughs> and Charmeleon, he's a little older. I'm a fan. Next pack. Do you know what this means? On the labeling, it's like Y A A A A A A A. Do you have any idea what that? No. All the regional cards have that on them. Fantastic art with the evolution line. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I don't understand why these cast promos came back as four. I don't. I don't get it either. None of they're none of them are fours. All right, we got some more Cynthia, or Cynthia, Lily. Words are hard. Characters are hard to remember. Uh, we got an eight on this staff one. They probably have indents on them. Many of them do. Yeah, this is possible. 
Uh, reverse hollow, Bill's maintenance for expedition. We got a seven here. Reverse potion from expedition. Let's go. Got a seven. Here's another card that got a two. Another two. This is our second two today. Second card I wish was a one. Got a reverse hollow Dragonite expedition. Oh yeah. That um. We were trying to get ones. Huh? We were trying to get ones. Yeah, I wish they would have been one. Yeah, it's a two, and it's good. It's good. Mary's impulse from expedition. We got a six. Flip a coin until you get tails. Draw your whole deck. Just never flip tails. It's easy. Magikarp. Expedition. Reverse foil. Seven. What good art on this? I look at the look at those polywhorls. They're so scared for the Magikarps falling down the waterfall. <laughs> look how concerned they are. Corsola, look at this. It's sleeping. It's so cute. Got a seven. All right. The best starter in all of Pokemon, hands down, Totodial. Got a three. All right. Let's see. Yeah, there's a corner crease down here. Same in the middle. Still, best best starter. Don't mind the disappearing stack of cards. Not sure I've ever looked at it much, but thanks, so good. Uh, Reverse Hollow Dratini, got an 8. E-reader cards, just the art, so good, all of them. Look at this. What What is Totodile doing to this Oddish? What is happening here? <laughs> Reverse Ampharos. <laughs> Got a six. Here. Hold on a minute, guys. I'll put those back in a moment. Next package. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a killer. Oh, do you want to tell the story? <laughs> you guys, Jimmy's going to be back in a minute. He's going to tell a story. A story time from Jimmy Ballard. Jimmy on stream. I know, right? Crazy. All right, what we got? We got Maltrace here. Jim Mint. Oh, my gosh. Two of them. Where's my Yeah Boys? Can I get some yeah boys in chat? <laughs> Jim intends on the mall trace. And here's another mall trace. Oh my gosh. Alright, I need six yeah boys in chat. That's how many tens came in this pack. We also got an eight, two eights, and two nines. Those came back real nice. <laughs> we we sent a lot of those. All right, Jimmy, did you? Sure, I can. We can move this. Oh, someone's. Highlighted message. Here, you tell your story. You can wear these. Music is playing. Don't mind that. Or I 
so I just wanted to give a little feedback on why we're getting so many cards graded other than the grading market is something fantastic to get into right now. Uh, the whole idea behind all of this was, uh, you know, we host our regional events and we wanted to make sure that we were providing something new to the players. And since graded cards was a new market, we decided to send in, you know, 1,100 cards that we could get back prior to Albany, uh, Milwaukee, and then we had a vending booth set up for Fort Wayne. Uh, unfortunately, none of those three happened, so we're going to be putting these cards up on our on our website. But look look for our events come uh, next year, assuming we're you know so blessed to gain access to future regionals. With the state of the world today, who knows what's going to happen? But you know, if we do host events, uh, know that graded cards will be a huge part of our prize wall going forward. Uh, I'd like to think at some point we will be the largest collector of graded cards as we have this initial 1100 and uh, I'll be meeting up this coming week to send in roughly 2500 more cards so we're looking to get into the graded card industry pretty pretty big uh, we have several outlets via tournaments you know via our website uh, Verbank's obviously a big one uh, so we we definitely are trying to take advantage of the graded card market right now and get them into the hands of players who nor normally wouldn't spend the money to uh, purchase graded cards. But you throw them on the prize wall and you let everyone from little Timmy all the way up to old man Johnny, you know, pick up a graded card and have something that they can call their own. So that's the main reason why we got into it was something to put on the prize wall and uh, yeah, something to put on the prize wall and, and get it into the hands of people who wouldn't normally have a graded card. So. That's it. Sweet. I'm excited. <laughs> Easy I enough. Just, I love opening this stuff. Yeah. All right. So, thanks. Thanks, Jimmy. I'll let you get back at it. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Wayne. All right. So, yes, these will all be available on the Top Cut Events website. And then once events start happening again, hopefully soon, um, obviously once everything is safe. Uh, uh, he left. He's the store, uh, the Top Cut Love store in Loves Park. Uh, today was the first day that uh, we're opened back up, so he's been real busy, uh, kind of getting everything ready for that. And so yeah. <laughs> you just like harassing Jimmy. Yeah, I'm same. And I get to do it all the time now instead of just once every few months when I see him. So I get to do it multiple times a week. But yeah, the the store in Love's Park opened up, reopened today. So that's exciting. All right, I have a feeling, you guys, that we might we might need a lot more Yeah Boys. Get get your Yeah Boys ready. <laughs> All right, got one. All right, so we got five nines and eight and four. Yes. <laughs> These promos are so cool looking. Ugh, they are so cool looking. I just, I love them. Alright, so, so here. We'll look at them. Is, it, is this? Okay, so you can see clouds, fire, it, other kinds of clouds, water maybe. The, the art here will become a lot more apparent when, uh, Zapdos is the best legendary bird. Uh, of the original three, yes. I think, I think Lugia is the best, like, of the five. But of the original three, Zapdos definitely takes the cake here. Um, let's see, this one's this one looks like the other the other set. Arcuna is the best. I mean, that's just undoubtedly wrong. feel me you know what i mean 
Which is wrong. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. I'll, I'll give you this. Articuno is better than Maltrace. I think we can all agree there. Writing Twitch a letter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not like this. All right. So the top one, Articuno. From the same set of promos, we got one. We got one ten. We got two tens. We got three tens. We got four, five, six, four nines, and six tens. All right, but see, see, here's here's kind of what I was saying. If you look at them, like the art, the art, the background art of them all, is like, I can't. I need. I need a bigger hands. And less glare. I don't know. They just all kind of go together. It's super cool. But these will be fun. I grabbed an 8 in, for the Moltres. But uh, these will be fun to... Um, for people that like love the legendary birds. Like to get them all together. Um, as 10s or 9s or whatever they end up getting. You know. It's just cool that we got so many of these. And there's, there's a lot more. We sent in, from what I know, like... 50 of each of these cards so this is just what i'm opening to now but i'm i'm sure there's a ton more which i'm excited about because they're just it's like an easy easily collectible pokemon i think are the legendary birds so all right what do we got there's a polyrath Uh. All right, Polyrath, we're on to more Expedition Reverse Foil. Oh, there's two Polyraths. We got a seven and a five. Look at him. He looks like he's directing traffic. Or at least the stance he's in. Or like a an airplane on a runway or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's... Reverse Pidgeot from Expedition. Got a 7. This art's really cool, too. Like, the redness of the clouds is really cool. The Polyrath. Polyrath is just, the whole line is really cool. I'm a, a fan of, in general. Meganium. You swear? I thought you heard, I said Pajama. Pajama. I said Pidgeot. I think it's the only close thing I would have said to Pajama, right? I'm pretty sure I didn't say. Oh, I, you got me. You, get, you got me again. Uh, we got a seven on the Meganium. This is going for a chomp. Is hungry. Chomp. Right, Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur, what? Is this Bulbasaur okay? The Hollow Pharaoh from Expedition. <laughs> okay, but is this Bulbasaur okay? Is this like a, was this like a rain dance? Yo, Ping Vapor, what's up? How are you? Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for coming by. Praise the sun. Yeah, Taco. Is, I don't know what's going on here, but Bulbasaur is. <laughs> he's he's hoping for something. Oh my gosh! I think this is the first time I've ever seen this card. You guys, look at this. What? All right. This is um This is very quickly climbing the ladder in my head of best arts of all time. Oh my gosh. Like what is Oh. I love it. Oh my gosh. I I don't know what happened to the Charizards, so Taurus gets to go here now. I mean, I do know what happened to the Charizards. They're right next to me. Tauros is entering the Charizard, uh, Charizard wall. Right? The art? So good. You can't see this one because my face is in the way. All right. 
this one's gotta go. This is our, I think, probably our best, our best poll so far. The nine. All right. Meowth expedition. We got a seven. More. Oh, we got two. We got two of them. Yo, Pink Vapor, move your screen down to the bottom. Would that be better? Would that be better? Do we think that would be better? I'll try it. Also, look, we gotta we gotta talk about something with this next card. Would that? Yeah, I suppose that probably would be better, huh? Some people are smarter than me, and that's okay. Okay. This is from the same exact set. Okay? Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. Bulbasaur is praising the sun. And Ivysaur is just chilling. Just vibing. Why didn't Ivysaur get cool art like this? What did Ivysaur do? They have the same attacks. <laughs> uh, how much for the sub Bulbasaur? So, uh... Uh, sick man. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not sure how you want me to say your name, but uh, all of these cards will be put up for sale uh, in a couple of weeks on the Top Cut Events website. If you go to the Pokemon page after going to Top Cut Events website, uh, there will be a section for graded cards. Um, so we haven't. We just got these. We're just opening them for the first time. So we're not totally sure. Like we haven't taken the time to price them because they've. Um, we, we originally sent over 1,100 cards, so we don't know exactly what's coming back and when, but they will all be available. Do you have a schedule? Pink Paper, I am working on it currently. Um, for the time being, I know that I will be live probably every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday around this time, um, but I am working on something concrete right now. Like, there's a, like there's a, a Google Doc open on the computer right now of... Um, me writing a content plan. So, uh, the last one for this one, uh, Polywag, literally opened up 300 PSA cards. Nice. That's awesome. My my phone heard me say Google, and then it was like, <gasps> Google me. I'm here. <laughs> 300 cards. I hope you got some good stuff out of that. That sounds awesome. I lo oh, I love PSA. It's so fun. I mean, it's just another avenue of Pokemon collecting, right? Go to Lurk. Go to Lurk. Yes, Noel. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. I miss you. Ugh. We only got... We got... This is all we got left to open. For now. All right, so we just got the – I know we opened up the Polyrath earlier, but it's very deep down. Look at this. They're so happy. I mean, Polyworld doesn't have a mouth, so you can't really tell how happy he is. But he's happy. Trust me. We got a seven. All right, we got some more uh, Legendary Collection Reverse Hollows. Magikarp, we got a six. About seven thousand dollars worth of product, all your hollows from childhood, base set fossil. Nice, that's awesome. That is so awesome. I hope I hope it came back good for you. And some hidden fate stuff. Nice. Oh, hidden fates is so good right now. So good right now. All right, we got a Persian, dark Persian rather. Uh, came back a five. Some more reverse hollow darkness energies. This one from Enix Emerald. We got an eight. Look at the hollow pattern on. I don't know how well you can see it. But the hollow pattern is like Pokeball. Yeah, there you should be able to see it pretty well. That's so cool. Ruby Sapphire era hollows. Ru or Ruby Sapphire Emerald, I guess. Uh, era hollows. Just reverse hollows. Like with the. They all had like the pre release looking stamps on them. So cool. I love these. I love them. And same, same, we kind of got the same hollow pattern here on the double rainbow. If you can see it instead of, you know, the reflection of my face. Super cool. 
All right, we're back into Expedition Reverse Hollows. We got two sevens on Meganium. Meganium, one of the worst starting lines in the whole franchise. Don't at me. Got an Arbok from Expedition Reverse Hollow. Came back a seven. This is a cool art too. Like just the blueness in the background. Chico's one of the best mods of all time. I don't know about that one, Oscar. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. And look, another Pikachu. We had one of these earlier. I, don't, I think the other one was a nine. This one came back an eight. Good looking Pokemon. Card. Good looking Pokemon card. I don't really like Pikachu that much. But, you know. All right. We got some. We got some more. Yaz. Guzma. Okay, so this one says this one. Burning Shadows nineteen. Y dot a dot a dot. So it's it's clearly an abbreviation for something. This is a staff one. It's another synth. We got a couple of Cynthia's. This one's a ten. This one's a nine. This one's a ten. This one's a nine. Another nine Guzma. Another nine Guzma. So this whole stack. Oh, not the whole stack. Oh, we'll talk about that in a second. So we got two tens on Cynthia. Five nines on Guzma. And two nines on Cynthia. I mean, we went through some of the... We, we had a, a Cynthia earlier. I think that was a t ten. So, we're getting some more tens. I just... I'm, I'm going to I'm gonna find out, like, what, what this means. I'm going to... You know what? I'm going to see... I'm going to... I'm going to send a message real quick and see if I can't figure it out before the end of stream so that we can all learn together. But, hey, we had a Blastoise. Oh, the Blastoise was base at two, wasn't it? But that's okay. We got a Venusaur that came back as an eight from base. Sick. Ugh. All right. This is our last one. We have ten cards to open. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I have a feeling that a lot of the, hopefully, hopefully our question will get answered before we get through these 10 cards. I'll slow roll it. <laughs> We're going to do some doctoring on this, on this though, because we got some more sword and shield pre-release promos. That came back as force. So, oh, not more. Just one. Just one. Okay, but still, we're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Okay. So nothing on the front, unless someone has better eyes than me through the camera than I have in real life. But nothing on the front is like a dead giveaway as to why it would lose six points. So, there's like, I don't know if this is maybe the case and not the actual card. Yeah, I think it's just the case because I don't actually see what I was about to say anymore. I, I don't, I just, I don't understand what, um, like, there's, I, I know you can't super tell, but. I can kind of tell that, like, in this part of the card, right here, it looks like it almost was, like, bent this way. Like, like someone took it and folded it like this. But, I mean, it's so, it's so slight that... I just, I'm, I'm really, 
really not sure what would have A caused it to be a four and B caused all of them to be fours. But someone smarter than me probably knows the answer to that question. So we'll continue on, because that was actually the only one of those in the in the stack. So you got a five back because the surface had dents. Yeah, but I just I mean, I guess it's possible that the case covered those up. I just I just don't I don't see it. And I'm sure that someone could explain it to me, you know. And maybe then I would understand, but to my blind eye and not knowing that much about what I'm talking about, <laughs> I, just, I don't know. The PSA grader had just played Sun and Moon and clearly didn't like the new gen. You mean Sword and Shield? Yeah, 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 I gotcha. <laughs> you can contest the grade if you want and get your money. No, it's... I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Although I've I've heard of people like cracking cases open and sending them back and getting higher grades which I think is kind of wild. But all right, moving on now. Victory medal winner 2011 from Spring Battle Roads got an eight. I wish they still gave away these cards. Like instead of the, the first, second, third, fourth place, I wish victory medals and victory cups still existed because these are so much cooler. Like even if they're bad. Like I, I do like that they're now giving playable cards out for the first, second, third, and fourth where like a long time they were like, oh, here's a shell gone. Like, okay. <laughs> um, but I still I, I like these better I think like something that you'll never play with I guess something that's a little more incentivized yo Cam what up bud how's it going um, here we go Shining Mew from Koro Koro come on focus yeah sort of it. there we go got a 9 oh man Is Som still here? Yeah, there. there. I knew it. <laughs> They're a fan. Didn't your, um, didn't one of your logos come, like, based, or, like, come, come kind of based on this design, or am I crazy? But a nine. This is a beautiful card. Where the Ray PSA, though? We had a Ray EX earlier. It's buried somewhere in the stack, but we got a Ray EX. Five, it came back a five. So, we did have one Ray card. All right, now I think these are all the same. Yep, we got more Zapdos. Uh, we got 110, 210, 310, 410, 9, 9, 9. So four tens logo is a regular and shiny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I thought the, the design kind of came based on Maybe I'm just tripping or something. I don't know. But there, we got four, four tens, four tens, three nines. We sent out a lot of these birds. A lot, a lot of birds. That's all the cards. I kind of thought it would take me longer than an hour and a half to get through all these, if I'm being honest. All right. But that... Maybe, maybe not. All right, let's see. Um, I did not get an answer on what the yeah means. But you bet. Follow me on Twitter at TopCutDan and I will definitely be sure to give you an update on what exactly uh, that is supposed to mean. I, I have no idea. I really don't. Um, so, but I will. I will. I don't have an answer. I'm not sure. I don't know. But I will. Go follow me at TopCutDan on Twitter. Um, I haven't set up 
here's another reminder set up the bot set up twitch bot all right i got i got things i gotta do um but i will i will update everyone on my twitter once i figure that out so go follow me over there you can also follow me on instagram at top cut dan um, and then also make sure if you're here you follow the channel uh very much appreciate that um so when events start happening again hopefully soon once everything is safe uh with the whole pandemic going on in the country um and events start happening this channel will also be having events uh, whether they're here in the store or across the country uh, we'll be streaming events here as well as any new product that comes in such as uh, these we will be opening up some of these um, probably in the next if not the next two days uh, next week we will be going through a bunch of them um, we also got some league some battle league decks that we'll be opening up and um, listing all the contents on the inside of those four including the codes uh, from the Pikachu and Zekrom and Reshazard Resh decks. So, so uh, I want to thank everyone who came to watch today, whether you are on Twitch or you're watching the after or after the live, after live, the recorded version on YouTube. <laughs> well, words are hard. So, uh, everyone who came out to watch, I want to thank you so much. I had a lot of fun. It's been a long time since I've been live on Twitch doing something like this. So. Uh, I'm bad. I'm glad to be back at it. Uh, I'm thankful for Top Cut to give me the opportunity. So thanks to everyone here. Um, it's it seriously is. It feels really really good. And uh, for all of you to for my first stream back for everyone that came and hung out. Um, but I think that's that's all we got for the live portion of today. Um, make sure to follow me on the socials that I mentioned. I'm going to be posting lots and lots of stuff there. I'm really going to try to start building out my brands on other social medias. Again, you guys, uh, tomorrow 1 p.m. will be live again. Um, if you guys if you guys missed the beginning of the stream or the middle of the stream or whatever, you want to go back and watch all this, uh, sometime, hopefully later this week, I'll have this edited down a little bit. Uh, this will be posted on our YouTube, so go check it out there. I'm going to really try to stop rambling now. Um, and I'll just end the stream. Thank you again to everyone that came out and supported today. I uh, hope to see you all tomorrow or in the future at a different time. That's it. That's the last thing we're going to say. Goodbye, everybody.